all so calm and then it all breaks loose. Exactly. That dog is running like both ends of a rope at the mm -hmm. same time. <laughs> Get along, little doggy. For <laughs> Hello. Sure. Hello, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure Today. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And we are at the Golden Spike Arena in Ogden, Utah for the Rocky Mountain Stock Dog Association Open Competition. These are very special dogs, and they're obviously smarter than cows, but I think they're smarter than me. I don't think I could do what they do. Oh, they're definitely smarter than both of us put together. <laughs> These dogs are freaking awesome. Yeah, this is a special breed of Border Collie, and they, and they breed them and train them to herd cattle and, mm -hmm. and make them do all kinds of things. And, right. And, and, they go all over the nation. I mean, this is a nationwide show. Um, they're getting ready for the big show in July, which I believe is in like Afton, Wyoming. Afton, Wyoming and is their national championship. It is, it's really fascinating to come out here. And a lot of these dogs, did you hear what Steve was saying? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these dogs, they aren't really working ranch dogs. No. They're just, they're just competition dogs. Right. So they're like people from all walks of life own these dogs and just do this for a hobby. Yeah, this is kind of like the Westminster Dog Show for cowboys. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's right. It's so cool. It's true. Anyway, they, they have a very specific set of things to do. The dog has to be able to sort and count. Right. And, and mm -hmm. herd and run like crazy. Yep. And, and dodge and dodge them. And dodge the Because those little rascals get kind of mean, those cows. Yes, they do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to find out a little bit about this unique sport from the guy that put the organization together. We wanted to do something a little bit different. Wanted it a lot really family oriented, uh, where people, we wanted our growth to come from the beginners to grow the association. So we really actually cater to our beginners as much or more than we cater to the open, which you would think you would cater to your open best handlers. We want people to come and be comfortable. Because it, it's tough to go out in front of people with a dog at something you're new at and go perform and not be able to compete. And so we, we decided to do that uh, about five or six years ago and it has exploded. I mean, it is taken off because a novice, you work your way up to be in the open. So it's benefit us in the open, bringing new newcomers in, letting them feel like they can succeed and go on from there. And, and we decided that we was gonna go that route and see how it would do and it has just done very well. It has really grown. Now we have a limit and we have 117 dogs here and 14 dogs on a waiting list. We've went from, you know, 100, dog, 100 people and 150 dogs to 1,400 people and 2,500 dogs. You know, it has just exploded and it, it's doubled in the last 10 months. Go to our website, mountainstatestockdog.com. You can go to the events. It shows lists of events of everywhere in the country there's a trial being hosted at that time. And there's trials being hosted all around the country at all times. So you can get on there if you're in Iowa and decide you want to go to a dog trial, you can look us up, go to the events, and show the closest event to your house. Rolling, 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 you really, get these doggies rolling, You really right. get into the spirit of this, aren't you? I am, I'm loving this. <laughs> anyway, it's obvious to see that there's a lot of growth in this group, and it, I, I can understand why. It's a spectator sport. I could sit here and watch these dogs rustle these cows all day long. Me too. Really, it's so entertaining, and you know, it's, this is a great place to bring your family. It's free uh, to the public, which is awesome, and these dogs are just brilliant. And I just, it really is. It's a lot of fun. Well, right now, we're going to head off to our where to. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are on the arena floor, they've just been finishing up their next round. They kind of go through and say, this is what your obstacles are going to be. Yeah. This is what you've got to accomplish. And Steve likes to throw a few extra little uh, tricks in it. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of spice it up. Just to kind of spice it up. Mm -hmm. So what we have found so far is that a lot of people come to this event for a lot of different reasons from a lot of different places. Let's share some of them with you. Well, my wife and I have always been into to horses and cattle. We've had dogs from time to time. And some friends of ours were into it, and we just kind of gravitated that way. We thought it was kind of a neat thing. A lot of the trials that we go to are on horseback. I just thought, oh, what a cool world. You know, I've got everything that I wanted, everything I like. You know, I've got the horses, I've got the cattle, I've got dogs. And we've just kind of continued to grow with that. I've got a cow herd at home, and I uh, wanted dogs basically to help me and uh, 
bought my first dog and went to a dog trial one time. And, uh, like I say it started out with cows. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. Like you can, you know, you can be out there and watch it, but there's nothing like just getting in and doing it yourself. Having that special bond with that dog, where you're just watching the stock, you're watching your dog, you're watching your dog control the stock. Um, it's a partnership. You and your dog are both working the stock. And, Completing an end goal, it's just really cool. It's so much fun watching them develop into their own personality. Like even at this young age, he already has his own personality. Um, he's definitely a top dog in the pack. He loves to parade in front of everybody else and beat up on them. And <laughs> it's actually really fun and you can meet a lot of good people down here. And it's actually a fun way to do life. Every time we come, we see the same people. Um, they become good friends, uh, you know, so it's an extended family and we, we really enjoy that. Yeah, it's really wonderful to learn about all the people here that show up at this event. Yeah, it is one big happy family, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of happy, check out these beautiful happy donuts. Like, I would eat every single one of these right now. And, and they, I would watch you. I know. And then I have to go swim for, you know, an hour. But no, these came from Kent's Market, and this guy knows how to make donuts. Yeah, there are several of them around the Ogden area. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, would, that donut to me with a bottle of hogwash would be good. <laughs> okay, whatever hogwash is. How about just that, just that little pink oh, the, and red oh, and blue no. juice right there? Do you know how much sugar that would be? About 97%. <laughs> You, you have to go out there with the, with the dog. I'd be faster than the dog <laughs> if I had that much sugar going. Go I don't want to see it. Okay. Well, good, because instead we will go to this week's Along the Way, brought to you each and every week by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Okay, Rhea, forget the van life. I want to live the rodeo life. <laughs> Yeehaw, me too. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are up here at the Stock Dog Competition uh, at the uh, Golden Spike Arena, the fairgrounds up in Ogden, Utah. Yes, and we are admiring this beautifully hand-carved rodeo. Um, the scene is fabulous. It was by Frank Gift. Frank Gift yeah. carved this in 1940. In mm. 1990, he donated it to the fairgrounds. I mean, I literally want to get in here and play around with all of those rodeo people. Well, Doesn't that look there's, fun? There's a horse that's uh, got a saddle on it and nobody <laughs> Yeah, rides. I'm going to go do a handstand on that horse. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's not going to end well. No, probably. But they need their little. They need the little border collies You're running around. You're absolutely right. There are no border collies in here. It's unfair. I protest. I know. Let's let's have, well, well. You know, maybe we could just get one and plop it in there. Yeah, I'll start carving this weekend. Right now, <laughs> it's time for us to go give away our weekly sticker winner. This week's sticker winner was spotted on the road, and the license plate number is X137EA, and it looks like they're the lucky winner of a Mountain Series stove from Camp Chef, the best way to cook outdoors. And it looks like they're also going to win a bonus $100 gift and gas card from Eagles Landing. Sweet. Congratulations, and be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 to claim your prizes. Now we want to take a minute to discuss how to navigate the state safely when we play outside. You know, we do. You know, there are still so many things we don't know about this virus. So in light of that, we should be taking coronavirus seriously. So if you can stay home and self-isolate through Easter, please do. If you need to get out to recreate, there are several rural counties that still want you to visit. Just follow these rules from the state health department. Make as little contact as you can in rural communities, but still give them your business. Clean all surfaces you touch before and after you touch them. Make Clorox wipes your best friend. Better yet, use gloves. Second, don't use cash, use plastic. Only have one person to do all shopping and takeout. Watch your hands for 20 seconds whenever you're near a sink. Stay six feet away from other people. And for heck's sake, if you're sick, stay home. If you get sick, go home. We're all in this together. Next week, Kevin and Gina will be learning the ropes to stay safe while finding adventure in the outdoors. Then we're going to take a look at a state park that offers great camping and rentals that include personal watercraft and their one-of-a-kind water aqua zone. Finally, we're going to discover the highs and lows of a unique trailer hitch strong enough to tow up to 14,000 pounds. Here we come. Next to a show that's really, really good, but you know, any place you hang around long enough, You'll get a job. They'll put you to work. That's, That's right. free labor, That's too. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> Look what I just did. <laughs> oh, yuck. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. We had so much fun today. We really did. Yeah, we've really gotten in the spirit of things. Obviously, we're now opening gates. Rhea's already stolen a cowboy hat. Yeah, from this cute little stud kid named Stockton. Oh. And I'm working at kidnapping a dog. Yes, that's right. We're going to come out of here with real cowboys. We'll have to give it an alias and paint a mustache on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you should really come try one of the events. They're so much fun. They are, and they're all over the nation. You could just follow them on their website. We'll have it here for you so you can take a look. And it's just, it's just great family fun. It is. It's free to the public, so make a day of it, and you may get hooked. That's right, just like we did. That's right. Well, so, you, okay, so you know what you know what I'm going to say. What are you going to say? I'm going to say there's adventure around every bend. It's just up to you to get out there and create it yourself at your leisure. See you next time. All right, bye-bye.